okay, on uh, question 24a, it's quite a lot of work for uh, the marks that it's giving you, uh, but it's not difficult when you understand that the shape of the tank is really made by a cylinder, and on top is sitting half a sphere, because I had to find out the volume, I had to find out the volume of each individual one, and then add them. So I'm going to start with the volume of the sphere, or actually half a sphere, if you can see. From the formula page, I can see that the volume of a sphere is this one, basically it's 4 third, 4 over 3 times pi times uh, r cubed. Now the radius is 3, so basically it's going to be 4 over 3 times pi times 3 or cubed. And then because it's half a sphere, I also have to divide by 2. So if I do this on a calculator, right, so I'll show how I do it. It will be 4 divided by 3, it doesn't matter the order, uh, times shift exp pi times 3 cubed uh, divided by 2. So 18 pi or just 56, you know. So I just put the answer right here, cubed. Now, the volume of um, cylinder is quite simple. It's a, it's a prism. So again, you also have a formula at the beginning, but I know by heart that it's the area of a cross section times the length. Now, I know that the area of a cross section is pi times r squared. The cross section is just a circle. So pi times the radius, 3 squared, times the length. The length is just simply 30. Now, when I do that one on my calculator, let's take a look. So I got um, pi times 3 squared times 30. So this number plus uh, the 56.4864866776. So 5486677, sorry, my bad, 776 seven, equal. Right, it's 904 point change, but because the answer has got to be to three significant figures, so one, two, and three, there's a divider, the answer would be 905. So the answer would be 905 cubic meter. Be sure that you write all the calculations, you know, and then find the answer. So let's take a look. Is, yep, it's 905.